Seven o'clock in the morning in the Penjari National Park and the animals are waking up. Monkeys wash, elephants quench their thirst and the antelopes stretch their legs. This is the animal's domain. Discretion is key if you want to watch. All the animals are in their natural habitat. We don't do anything to entice them like in other parks where there's mass tourism. Here it's still natural, it's still wild. Penjari National Park stretches out over 4,700 square kilometers. It was created 50 years ago, but it's long suffered from poaching and bad management. To protect it, Benin's presidency has joined forces with a non-profit organization, African Parks, to restore its plants and wildlife and train about 60 rangers. The aim? To make the park one of the jewels of ecotourism in Benin. It's about conservation, it's about revitalization and reforestation. And then, of course, we have to reorganize this space to make it a tourist resource. A tourist resource both for the Benin economy, but also for the local economy. Compared to other major reserves in East and Southern Africa, Penjari National Park is relatively unknown. But it has about 100 lions and also leopards and cheetahs. The big cats aren't easy to spot. It's impressive to see all the animals. Yesterday, we even saw lions in the evening. Even though it was almost already dark, it was impressive to know that a lion was close by. The park's new management hopes to attract 6,000 to 10,000 visitors a year in the next five years. And to delight fans of big game, there are plans to reintroduce rhinos in the near future.